one between the Florida Gators and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Red Raiders know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next. Work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Third, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. I'm... Gets up to make the block. What an unbelievable play rotating over. Welch handles the feed. He shoots from the top of the circle. Welch was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the opportunity. He attempts the three. Buried it. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Counts getting high. On the inside. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to feed the low block. Nicky's working on that. He rejects it. They work it around the arc. He shoots from the elbow. He drains the bucket. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard handles the pass. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got a high post flasher. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. And in and out. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He goes for three. Texas Tech have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They go into the low block. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Chapman is animated and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Now trying to feed the low block. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. For the bucket, easy one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Down inside. 
Sets the screen for his teammate. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He shoots from the top of the key. On the outside, the small forward receives the pass. Gets the rejection. He makes a nice shot fake. He lets it go. He's money with the shot. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. He gets the bucket. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Pocket receives the ball. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Tries for two. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Time out. Pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Inside. Chapman is receiving great praise from the fans. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Double team now, bad angle. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect for saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us stop and pop shot didn't fall in but it was a great use of the screen this is worth the second look The perimeter spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart fakes the shot takes it off him fast break opportunity here for two nice job to create the angle using the glass <laughs> on the dribble gives it up tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays him where he gets good post position. So and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. From the top of the key, way off target. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. And he got them both. See the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Got a man in high post. Powers makes a great move to draw the foul. The Red Raiders are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He misses the first shot. Misses the second shot. Strong rebound. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Leans in. Texas Tech are on a bit of a run. Let's see how warm they can keep it on, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. Hard foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Top of the circle. Got it. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. On the inside. Fakes a jumper. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. The skip pass is picked off. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Unloads a three. Makes it. That's a 7-0 run. Stolen away. Top the basketball. the low post and they're going to count it determination baby dick are we witnessing the beginning of a blowout here we are if things don't change in a hurry okay dick some people were predicting this the players are starting to talk one another he'll go to the line 
Got it from the free throw line. That's a 10-zip run. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Goes up for two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pump fakes. He does the sweet fake shot for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Kicks it out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. They work it around the perimeter. High post screen. So and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He intercepts it. <laughs> Gave it up. Pushing that basketball. He shoots from the angle. Makes the shot. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up. Here's the three ball. Goes in. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Red Raiders have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning it. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. That's 
spin move is not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Top, controlling the ball, perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Off the rim and no good. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? up position in the post. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. He hits the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It sticks. Let's take a second look. first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and he made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way they work it around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter that's been moved not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin the perimeter he shoots from the top of the circle he pops it from way downtown they work the perimeter Dick, not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot the ball goes out of bounds Jump hook from the low block. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, bro? If only my knees weren't aching. Dribble gives it up. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He comes away with it. He just heaves it up there. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Red Raiders lead by 20. made an example of the opposing team in that first half, Dick. I'll tell you, yeah, Brad, and the lesson is very simple. Play some D, baby! Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Working around the arc. Obvious foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He goes to the line for the first time. He missed it. Misses them both. Boards it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Set in. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He puts up the tray. That's good. execution on offense. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They're working around the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Off the rim and no good. He nails the bucket. Harm and foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Pull-up jumper from way out. He gets it to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from right of the circle. They let him out of a double team there. That's not the way you utilize the double. Working it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc. He gets the shot to fall. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Moving it around the perimeter. The crowd starting to chant. It really is something, isn't it? Right 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work it around the perimeter. The point guard takes the pass. The Red Raiders have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Well, he's on fire. Gave it up for two. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. They'll work it around the arc. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The post flashes up high if he wants it. The lane. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He intercepts it. For the bucket, rims out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of play. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And they come with a double team to stop it. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. With the freebie. First shot is good. Green set on the defender. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. They work it around the perimeter. play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action and the ball goes out of play i've seen you out there with pom-poms mr vitale but not looking that good i'll tell you what don't look that good i can't dance like that baby Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Controlling the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gave it up. 
Fakes it. Got a nice screen. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First one, good. Makes the foul shot. Right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Up it inside. Jumps in. Easy one. The Gators are behind by 19. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. the ball with a bucket up easy one and the ball goes out of bounds all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well guys it's obvious their backs are against the wall it's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one defensive stops are the words that come to mind and without them they just don't have a chance all right, thanks, Aaron. Defense giving some room. Knocked out of there. Blocked. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. The ball goes out of play. Nine on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. In the paint. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Looking for a good shot. The power forward in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Goes. Watch the replay coming up. the inside he goes with a jump hook I tell you great job protecting the basketball getting deep post position and the jump hook is so effective they work the perimeter picked out of the air gave it up excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards that they have yeah that helps he puts up the three ball Way off target. The shooting guard gets the ball. And they get the turnover. And a momentary look from three-point land. 
There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. Gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Now they work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. He up fakes. He looks for the bomb. He's money with a shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's not going down with ease, Brad. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. Going to take some pride on the defensive end. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. High post screen, going to use it. Off the rim and no good. They move it into the front court. Looking for a screen on top and got it. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Foul charge. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey Brad, I'll tell you one thing, productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Turn around jumper, and in and out. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. them both to fall. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Rims out.
He fires from long range. You bet. The Gators trail by 17. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. They'll work it around the arc. He dials long distance. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. With a little baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They're working around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Stolen ball. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. Tries one from three-point land. Buried it. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Intercepted. On the outside, the power forward takes the feed. Chapman draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the line. Misses the first. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Second shot, good. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Puts up the tray. He drains the shot. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. With the jump hook, can't get the shot to drop. The Red Raiders have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Post flashes for the ball handler. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw some contact. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket. Finger roll. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. The second effort to come up with the rebound. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Push on that basketball. Pushes it up. Oh. 
the kick out. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for contact. He can't miss. Maybe some nice feeling at the end. the bomb. Man, he lured the defender into the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. They work it around the arc. Jumped in front to take it away. Shot clock is dead. He goes for three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He draws a foul. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Texas Tech makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard.